Well, hello. You're fresh and new. Looky here. Hello. Welcome to Appalachia's homestead. Let's get a little redneck. Look, <laughs> I'm hanging out on the lawnmower, baby. I found a shaded spot and I want to make a video for you today. We're getting all of our mowing in. I just planted more zinnias. I'm checking everything. I found another big blackberry patch right over there. I'm about to go pick blackberries and make my jam tonight. I've got to get that jam done. Gosh darn it. It's going to be blackberry uh, and black cap raspberry jam. I'm probably just going to get a couple of half pints out of it. That's just for me though. So it's, it's okay. But welcome back to the channel. No new goat babies yet. And everybody's doing good. And I appreciate all of your support. And, uh, the, the goat babies are just doing great. All the, the, and you guys are just loving them. And I thank you for that. Listen, I'm going to be really, really blunt in this video. Okay. I'm going to be blunt. So Get your big pan, your, your your granny panties on because I'm not going to pull any punches here. Um, I want to tell you something. First of all, I'm going to say this up front, and I'm going to repeat myself. I've said this a million times. Please do not send me any money. I don't want your money. Okay. Um, I've been saying this consistently, just so you know, for many years, and I'm definitely have been saying. I've definitely been saying it over the last two or three. Here's the deal. You're an adult. You do what you want. It's not my business. But I do want to shed some light on a problem that I see that will, won't change. But I, I feel that it's important that I say this. Um, I try very hard to stick to my own content and to my own self here on my channel. I have a lot to say about a lot of things. But I certainly try my best to not get wound up with other content creators uh, in terms of what they do and what they don't do. But I am going to feel free to express myself in terms of my opinion on things, especially if I think that they are take. if something is taking advantage of good people, then I think that uh, at some point, you know, if, it's, if it keeps convicting you, like it's convicted me, then I'm going to speak about it. So let me tell you something right now. I don't ask for money and I don't want your money. And when people do send me money from time to time, it's not as much as it, it's not like it used to be. I will tell you that y'all are taking me serious and you're, you're taking your money and you're buying your cans and you're helping your community. That's what I want you to do. I want you to take care of your home. I want you to make sure you, you're getting your pantry stocked up. You're paying off your debt. You're doing things for your kids. Um, if there are homeless people or people in need and veterans in your community that need help, I want you to go help those people. I don't, I love help and I love support but I know better. I am currently not selling any goods on my channel. I used to offer a few t-shirts every year because I had conferences. I had homestead conferences. I haven't had a conference since 2019 because COVID killed all that. And I haven't gotten back to that because I focused more at this point. I've been focusing on finishing rearing my children and growing my farm and supporting my husband. And, you know, I do my own thing here on my little farm and on my little channel. Um, and I have concerns for things that I see. So from time to time, and I know you see it, from time to time, somebody might appreciate a video. And uh, I don't know if you, I don't do super chats. Those are on live streams, right? I don't even know the ins and outs of all this stuff people are trying to make money on. Um, but sometimes somebody might send me $5 or $1.99 or different things like that. Um, I don't ask for that money, but I do appreciate it. And I want you to know that that money that I have collected uh, in recent weeks, 
I paid for somebody's groceries yesterday. Um, the money that you send me, and I know I was telling you this even at my own old homestead uh, prior to 2020, that anytime you sent me money, um, I would I turned around and I would bless a blessing box. I would donate it to a homeless shelter. I donate the money to um, a Native American foundation. I donate it to veterans. I donate it to local areas uh, for homeless people. Um, I, there's a, uh, a family or two that's very local to me that has needed some help in recent, over the last year, I've been helping them. I've uh, helped pay some things for them. Um, so that's where a lot of that money goes to. That's, well, that's where that money goes to. What I mean by that is, is a lot of the money that is needed for these things is that money that you give and then money I put on top of it because that's what I like to do. Um, now, if you were to buy something from me, a ball cap, a t-shirt, a cookbook, whatever, that is something that I have created and you have chosen to purchase it as opposed to purchasing something else. I don't offer that at this time. I want you to spend your money on you, your preps, your farm, your family, your debt. Now, I don't have anything wrong. I don't have any beef with that. I think that if you're offering a good and it's a solid good at a fair price for whatever it is, a t-shirt, then that's, that's life. That's consumerism and that is capitalism and you're supporting somebody you love. And I think that's great because you're getting something for your money. If you've got a giving heart and you've got a million dollars in the bank and you want to give anyway, well, then that's up to you too. But here's what I don't like. I don't appreciate people in, the, in what could be in this community or might be in this community grifting off of their followers. I know it's not my business, but here's what I, here's the difference. I would prefer for me, if you're going to send me money, a dollar ninety nine. I want you to understand that that money is not going to go to me because I don't accept it. I donate it. Okay. So this is why I tell you, I would prefer that you donate your money and your resources to people that you need to help. It doesn't mean that I'm not crazy, crazy, crazy grateful and blessed by you because I am. My community is, but I'm not asking for it. And I don't expect it, okay? I don't need to put up an, a, a, a link. I've got a honey a slit bee on me. I don't need... <laughs> I don't need to put up a link to ask you to buy me a coffee today. Okay? When people have a hundred plus thousand subscribers... I'm gonna get stung. <laughs> right here. Honey, you need to move on. I ain't that sweet. Okay? Let me tell you. Um, um, when people have 80, 85, 100,000, 200,000 subscribers, and they're putting out a video every day, every other day, and you're seeing it, they don't need you to buy them a coffee. I know what these people make. I know what I make. I know what they make. You don't know exactly what they make, um, unless you make videos and have figured it all out. You can watch videos on people guesstimating on what people make. They're not accurate, okay? But I will tell you, that if somebody has got the status of this is my job and this is what I do every day and they're consistently getting followers and viewers on their channel, the last thing that they honestly to God need is money from you. Now, if they offer a t-shirt, they offer a book and you want to buy it and it, it's something that you want and you find that, you know, they are solid people, you at least think they are, then that's your business. I think that's fabulous. But I want you to understand that there's a lot of grift. I want you to also know that yesterday uh, I had to uh, run some errands with my family and I went to Walmart, hadn't been there in a long time. And I went to a Walmart and uh, was checking out three or we were three or four pe pe people deep. And I looked over and there was a lady checking out over in the next line and she couldn't get her groceries. She was probably my age, maybe a little bit younger. She had a, two daughters with her a young teenage daughter, and then another daughter that looked to be about three or four years old. She had her mama with her too. Her mom was in, at least in her 70s. And they were trying to work with her and run different cards and do all of this. It was a no-go. Well, we finally got up there and they were working with her even as we were leaving. I told James, I said, I can't live with that. So I, as we were walking out the door, I turned around and came right back and I paid for her groceries. I didn't pay for her groceries. You paid for her groceries. I didn't ask for you to give me money and I, if I don't get another dime from you because you, you've got things that you need to take care of, 
I don't expect that. I'm not going to sit here and create a story about myself or somebody I know or just like my Nana. My Nana's been very, very sick. Okay? I'm not starting a GoFundMe for her. I don't expect you to have to do something like that. She doesn't need it, and I'm not going to ask you for it. But I'm also not going to pretend like we do either. Okay? We've got to get, there's always been people that do this. This has happened since the beginning of time, and it's not going to go away, and this video is not going to change it. But I just want you to know that if you are watching channels out there that are trying to tell you about world events, homesteading, how you need to be self-reliant, how you need to do these things, um, how you need to be um, out of debt, and then they're turning around, grifting you all the time for some goods, Again, at least you're getting a, a good. But also, I was listening. This is this is just really turned me off. I was I started listening to somebody about a week and a half ago. This is really where this came from. I started paying attention to somebody about a week and a week or two ago, and um, the content's not bad. I mean, there's some solid advice there. I mean, this person does have some good ideas and whatnot. Um, and um, but then when you start talking about how you're taking money for people for coffees. Um, I don't know. That rubbed me the wrong way. I don't like seeing people being taken advantage of. And, and somebody's going to get their drawers all up in a wad and say, well, they're not, they, nobody has to send them anything. Nobody has to do these things. You're right. But I think that they play off people's emotions sometimes. Some do. Uh, oh, I, my, I've had a heart condition. Or, oh, my mammal's this. Or, oh... You know, thank you for, thanks for, uh, if, if you didn't do this for me, then I couldn't afford to have my, um, my, my once a month treat. That is bogus baloney. That's bogus baloney. So I'm not going to be specifically giving all of these different examples and specifics. You guys are adults out there. You do what you want. Um, but I want you to be careful with your money. Uh, the dollar is, is, you all know what's going on with the dollar. You all know what's going on with inflation. You are smart enough to know a grifter when you see it. I don't want you to send me a dime. And that is, this is not some trick. This is not some trick to make, no, I don't. And you should know, as I've told you and as I've shown you, when you, if you happen to see, I just sort of let it build up. And when I feel the need to, uh, every month, send something to somebody I feel that's in need, that's what I do. That's what I do. And I hope to see a lot more of that. Please be very picky about what you're doing. This isn't just going to be from YouTubers. You're going to see an uptick on this from people you know. Okay? The grift is going to get really, really sticky and really hard. Okay? This is why I tell you to, 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 to really dig your heels in, know who your circle is, know who is loyal to you, and be working on the things. I, I absolutely do think that you're going to be helping people. Okay? Just like yesterday, these, these things pop up. And I got convicted. So I went. So here's what I did. I turned around. I went back to the cashier. I said, how much is the bill? And she said, it's X. I said, okay. I said, I'd like to pay this. And the lady was, she didn't know what was going on. And the customer, the two ladies from customer service were like, you are so nice. I'm like, no, I'm just doing what's right. And the lady said, you do not have to do this. I said, I know I don't have to do it. I know I don't, but I, I'm going to because I want to. Because I know good people that I know want to, too. So I paid the bill, and they handed me the receipt. I said, enjoy this and pay it forward the next opportunity you get. And I walked out of Walmart. I had to go to Walmart because my boy would need to buy a new belt. He said, let's just go to Walmart. And I said, okay. So I had to, there was a team of us that went into Walmart, so I felt safe. But uh, that's why I went to Walmart. It wasn't about my boy getting a belt. God wanted me there to witness that. And he knew that I was I was ready to help somebody again. And he put her in front of me. This is what I'm saying. You are going to have so many opportunities to help people right in front of your face. Be it a neighbor, be it a best friend, somebody in the office. Uh, I don't know. Somebody at the Aldi, the Walmart, Bojangles. I don't know who can't pay their bill. I saw another guy the other day who was, um, last week, who was two or three ahead of me at, at Aldi. I almost did it to him. I was about to pay his bill. And by the time I figured out what, you know, you don't want to be too nosy at first. 
and uh, he got his third card to go through. So I left that alone. But this poor gal yesterday with her two children and her mama, they, they couldn't they couldn't pay it. They couldn't pay it. So uh, we did that, and uh, I didn't do that. You did, and that's the way it should be. So I just want to say, please don't send me money. I just ask for people to be kind and respectful and, and decent to each other on my channel. If you want to help me out, watch my videos and share them. It's free. It's free. And please be taking your money and pay off your debts. Please take your money and put a nest egg away because you're going to need it. At least for the time being. I, I firmly believe that. I firmly believe that. Buy yourself some silver if you if you can't do anything else. Buy yourself some extra canned goods. Go to an animal shelter and buy them all the cat and dog food you can stack into your trunk because they are over stinking ran. Some YouTuber does not need you buying coffee for them. I know that's just a cute thing to say for their link, but that's insulting. Take that coffee money. There's my buddy. Take that coffee money, and I'm serious. Pull into a humane society. Pull into a homeless shelter. Go to the VA. Walk around downtown. You're going to find, just go to the grocery store. You're going to find people that need real, legitimate help. They don't have 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. Okay. And again, I hope everybody is successful. I want everybody to make a million dollars, but I also don't want people taken advantage of, and I don't want my followers taken advantage of. Okay, so please be making good and right decisions. Like, subscribe, and share, guys. I got to get this mowing done. Woo! Got to get it done, and I'm going to be putting some cornbread in the oven, and then I'm going to be going and taking care of my Nana, and I got to get back. Oh, look, hey, are you coming to check on me? There's Boo Radley. You gonna mow? Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll take care of it. <laughs> I hope this video finds you well. Yeah, I'm stinky. There's flies and sweat bees. I hope this video finds you well. Understand that the grift is hard and the grift is gonna get harder. Okay? It really honestly is. And I thank you for being here. If I were to make some t-shirts soon or do something like that, listen to me. Don't buy it if you don't have the money. Don't buy it if you don't love it and absolutely want it, okay? This is why I've held off from this. It's great that these things are out there, and I think they're fun too. And I like it when people have it, but they don't push it on you every single stinking video. What? Oh, my God. We see your stuff. We see your book. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the days of when if you were really hard up for money you actually worked a job I mean where'd that go and don't tell me there's not jobs out there there are jobs it may not be your expectation they may not be full time I get it I've got sons working in the workforce and sons applying in the workforce right now. So I know all this, but here's the deal. These YouTubers, <clears throat> I work this channel almost 24 seven. I may not necessarily be filming and editing 24 seven. It's not 24 seven, but I'll say 18 hours a day. I check things or I'll post things or I'll try to respond to things or whatever. And I'm telling you right, and I work this farm for the most part by myself and try to, you know, run my house and do all the things that we do. And I'm just saying, for I, I'm very confident that if I didn't have my farm like I do, I could go work five, six, eight hours, five days a week. And I'm telling you right now, I am positive that I could still post three or four videos a week. So it's not a time factor. It's not. It's not. And this is where people get mad. This is where people get upset because they don't they don't want you telling them what to do. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you there's people out here that have it figured out. You can work a job, even if it's at the Crystal drive through and you can still come home. You can still put something in the oven, throw in a load of laundry, come out here or come go wherever you go in your car for that matter and make a video and edit it and upload it. 
These people that try to tell you all this editing takes hours and hours and hours. No, it don't. No, it don't. That's a lie too. If you do this day in, day out, week after week, you figure it out. Now, if I have 60 or 70 clips for a video, yeah, it might take me an hour or two to get that done. I'm just gonna be honest with you. But a lot of videos don't have that, unless it's a very specific cooking video, which I love those. They tend to have a lot of clips. A lot of those people do like two a week. Think about it. You can do two videos a week with 50, 60, 70 clips making lemon tarts and blueberry muffins. And you got that cash coming in and it's a great ch little channel and you can still raise your kids and you can still work your job. Heck, you can still do your laundry and milk your goats. It can be done, y'all. I do it every day. So I know people, and there's other people that do it too. So I know you can do it. They can do it. Please take your money and spend it on you in the appropriate places right now. And if you're going to be of a giving heart, please give to a legitimate source in your area. Like, subscribe, and share. Woo, I bet the comments are going to be on fire about this. But it needs to be said. And I don't want you taking advantage of. I love you. Like, subscribe, and share. Pray, prep, and be peaceful. Spend your money on you and the people around you and preparing for the people around you, okay? I love you, I'm looking out for you. I'll see you on the next video.